Hi, my name is Jason McKenna. Welcome to Vex World. It's my pleasure to be here with Noah and Damien, and we're gonna talk about your process with your engineering notebook. Now, interestingly, mm -hmm. Noah, your engineering notebook is digital, correct? Yes. Talk to me about why you decided to make it digital. Well, as you can see, papers are really messy, and the, the more you have, the, the bigger it gets, heavier it gets. And digital, you're also able to share it with everybody on the team. Yes. And so, not necessarily you have to be there at the at like where the notebook is. You can do it at home. You can do it after you're done. You leave. You can do it the next day, which is not very recommended, but you can if you don't have time. Yeah. So it's very convenient. A lot more convenient than on paper. So talk about what you put into your engineering notebooks. I'm assuming that you did a lot of the design of the actual robot itself, and you documented. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So. After every time we uh, go to the club and work on the robot, we write down all the problems that we faced and how we fixed it. Excellent. And most of the time we, we talk about the new problems that we've come up with that we didn't have time to fix. So the next person that comes to work on the robot will understand what we need to fix and like what is like happening with the robot, what's new. So like that is most of the time why we use the digital uh, notebook. What I love about that is you're building the capacity of your team. You're building that shared knowledge yes. because you're you're sharing the problems that you're facing and how you solve the problem with everyone. That's terrific. And you also document a lot of your coding. Is yes. that correct? Talk yeah. to me about that a little bit. So this year was especially challenging for us programmers because we we had tried we uh, tried to create um, a new completely new system and code in a completely different style. So something we tried to do, use was odometry, okay. which is basically using wheels on our robot. And while the robot moves, those wheels will spin. And using math and calculations, we are able to find, we are able to position the robot and know its coordinates and angle at all times. So you're gonna know where yes. the robot is on the field, yeah. so, which is obviously very helpful. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And so with this, uh, we also have multiple programmers. So we have to keep everybody updated. Um, somebody works on one part, other people work on other parts. So we have to document and also, there's also a lot of math. Yeah. So we have to keep track of that so that like future programmers, future teammates, they can just read through it and if they have any questions. So it's a lot more time saving as well. You know, what's great about that is is, is our office is where we make VEX code. So we have a lot of the software developers make VEX code. And that's something that we do a lot also is document the processes yeah. so that as we bring new people on board or as we're trying to train our new people, they're able to do that. Engineering notebooks, this is a question I see a lot of new teams ask. I see a lot of people ask questions about it in the forum. What advice would you give a new team that really doesn't know how to begin documenting their process in their in their engineering journal? Like for us in the past, we also didn't really understand how to use an engineering notebook, but yeah. throughout the season, we understand the weight of how much the, the notebook helps. Because first of all, other teammates sometimes don't come in the same time as you sure. do. And they don't know what's wrong with the robot, right? They might have a completely new clop at the end of the day. So like by knowing what has changed and what is the new problems, you can understand what to do next and go straight to work and without understanding and asking the coach, what is wrong with the claw? What do I need to fix? Why yeah. is there like a four bar right there? Yeah. Right? So like ideas can be communicated really quickly through the notebook. That's very that's yeah. very good. And talk to me, because you were you were mentioning about the odometry that you did, the math that was involved. Can you just describe the progress that you've made in terms of coding from where you were six, eight, nine months ago, and essentially how the engineering notebook allowed you to develop that amongst your entire yeah, team? So at first, we started in the summer. So for the first like month, two months, we didn't actually do any coding. We just talked about the math, the theory behind it, yes. and how it would help us. Yeah. And so maybe maybe it was three months. So, And then afterwards, we would start trying to, we would first maybe like spend like two weeks just uh, talking about how we will structure our code, just so that once we do get into coding, the code does not get really messy, yeah. and we still stay on track. And then eventually, we would start handing out tasks to each programmer, this programmer will do this part of that, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And so then eventually, by hopefully, by like provincials or uh, by states, uh, you will have a completed library, and you will actually be able to write a route. 
that is that is that is yeah that that is terrific and that was really really enlightening for me to hear about how you're using engineering notebook both from an engineering standpoint really both from a mechanical and a software engineering standpoint very very impressive thank you for sharing that with us i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of new teams even experienced teams are going to take a lot away from hearing how you're able to use your notebook so thank you again for joining us very much Thank you.